What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert. And in this video, I wanted to have a look at editing bend markers in detail. So I'm gonna go ahead here and drag this loop in. This is a loop from the new Loop Loft Dry Drums collections, which were just released in the Persona shop as sound sets. Let's go ahead and let's just drag in a drum loop so we have something to work with over here. Okay, so now I've opened up my bend marker panel over here, and what this allows us to do is get specific detailed information on our bend markers. So let's go ahead and let's make the bend marker view active, and I'm gonna go ahead here and analyze this in a standard detection mode. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've analyzed this, and it's added a bend marker on all the transient detection points that we want. Now we can have less or more of these adjusted by simply dialing up this slider. So let's just go with these for now over here. And now what we can do is if we need to make any further adjustments, we're gonna to switch to the bend marker tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose the bend marker tool. Now this works in a pretty seamless and convenient way. Being that it's automatically generated some points, if we need to adjust these, we simply hover over the bend marker over here, and you can see that if we click it, we get this yellow line. Now, I have my grid snapping on, which means that if I need to adjust these, they're going to kind of spring and snap to the grid in the 16th note, which is a quantized value. I currently have set my grid mode. If I want to relieve myself from snapping, it's pretty easy. I can just hold down shift, and this allows me to freely move from left to right. And then if I let go of shift, it's gonna snap. Now, if we're working without our snap to grid on, which would be deactivated, and I wanted to make some free adjustments over here, but then I wanted to go to a grid snapping, again, holding down shift would allow me to snap to my grid, even though I'm working without snap to grid on. So holding down shift modifier will toggle the behavior of your snap to grid. All right. So now in terms of adding points, this is very simple. I can simply just zoom in here and I could hover over here and I could just click and I've added a detection point, a transient detection point, which is sometimes easier to, you know, add them all versus going into the sensitive mode and reanalyzing them. So let's go ahead and we'll put another one here. And sometimes, depending on whether you've used sensitive or standard mode, sometimes the detection points might be a little bit off. So what I usually try to do is use the one that's most accurate and I'll add some manually if I need to. So now the next thing I wanna look at here is if we need to make adjustments to these points. So let's say I'm zooming in over here. You can see that this transient detection point has been added and you'll also see that we have this little aqua blue padding. This is because of the way the audio bend markers work in Studio One is that they aim to preserve the front end transient detail so a lot of the times, this particular area, this front end detail of this cycle over here has been preserved. And if you needed to make any changes to that, let's say you didn't want that to happen, you were gonna use a slicing workflow, you can simply hold down Alt or Option, and then we can drag this new point out, and we've just changed our bend marker. Okay. Now another point that comes in handy is if you're trying to select these over here, let's say I wanted to select all three of these bend markers here, we'll hold down shift, I can select all three of these and then I can move these together like this and they're moving freely and they're maintaining their relative time in between each other. And again, holding down shift would allow me to snap to my grid points over here as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just restore the timing here on this. So let's just go ahead and click shift Q. All right, now I wanna have a look at something else because what some people may not realize is that when you're using the bend tool, that by holding down some different modifier keys, you can actually toggle to some different behaviors. So for example, before I quantize anything, I would need to select this event, which would mean that I've detected all these transient points, I would need to go over here, select this event, now I could go ahead, set a quantize value, let's say 93% and apply. So now I've quantized this. But what happens if we're in the bend tool and we wanted to do that same action? So we've edited some of these points over here and we wanted to select this event. Well, what we can do is hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC. Then we get a pointer, which allows us to select events. So I could simply go ahead by holding down that modifier key and I can select this event over here as long as it's in the bottom half of the audio event. So it allows us to select the event so then we can quantize, but we don't have to switch our main tool. 
Another shortcut that we have is by holding down Alt or Option, we can horizontally drag across all these bend markers here if I wanted to select multiple bend markers at the same time. So let's say I wanted to select everything from here to here, and I wanted to move them relative to each other, so I preserve the timing, but I wanted to make sure that I snap this one right over here, right to the grid. I could go into grid mode over here, grab this, and just make sure that I've snapped that right to the grid. And now we've adjusted these together. Now, I can do this as well. I can select across these like this. And if I wanted to delete some points, let's say we had too many points. I can just bring this up. We've got some double points over here now. What I could do is simply come in here and zoom in a little bit. And I could just drag across this point over here, just like this. Zoom out a little bit. I can drag in here as well. And I can just hold down my Alt or Option just to drag across those points. Or if we had certain points that we didn't want at all, if I didn't want to affect anything except the downbeats, I could simply go like this, delete all that information, and then I could simply go like this, delete all that, and hold down my Command key, just like that to select the event, Option key to select this one, Command or Control, select the event, and then click my Quantize at 100%. And now I've just quantized the downbeat of bar one and bar two. So the whole point with this video here is that even though we're using the audio bend tool, we don't necessarily have to keep switching back to our main arrow tool in order to get the different functions to be able to either select events with the arrow tool or to lasso select the different audio bend markers so that we can delete them or move them relative to each other. We can maintain our positioning on the audio bend tool. And I can have access to my selector tools simply by holding down the command key to select. And then once I've created these points over here, I could hold down the option or alt key to drag these into place over here. And of course, shift snaps us to the grid, or I should say shift toggles the snap to grid setting regardless of which mode you're in. Anyways, just wanted to go over some of those editing techniques when you're working with audio bend markers in Studio One. I hope you guys got something from this, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.